it's my pleasure and, and more than pleasure, but privilege to um, to be a part of any baby dedication. Um, it's not done as many as much as I'd like to see it done when we dedicate the uh, brand new gift of God back to Him and say, look, we can't do this on our own, God, we need you. And uh, so it's uh, it's just a great privilege for me to be a part, just a small part of this um, ceremony and, um, and blessing. So we're going to uh, we're going to get started. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you. We thank you for the service before, and we thank you for this service here, for this is a service. And we know, Lord, it says in your word, we're two or more gathered in your name. There you are, and you see them. We thank you for being here. We don't do this by tradition or by ritual. But we do this, Lord God, knowing that you so loving me. Just love your kids. And we take Adelaide and say, God, she's yours. And we just thank you so much for this time. Please bless each and every one of us to God today. In Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. I'm going to invite uh, Jeremy, Jen, immediate family to come to my left and your right. And of course, we're in Adelaide, Ariel. chapter 19, verse number 13 through 15. I'm going to read that. It says, Then the people brought their little children to Jesus so that he could put his hands on them and pray for them. His followers told them to stop. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me. Don't stop them, because the kingdom of heaven belongs to people who are like these children. After Jesus put his hands on the children, he left it there. It was his job. It was the thing that he just wanted to do. He couldn't, couldn't help to imagine the scene. Could you picture the scene with me just for a minute? Here's Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, going to heal people and to set the kingdom of God on the planet. And he stops. And all these kids come in, and actually parents come and bring their kids to Jesus. And, and, and they say, please bless my son. Please bless my daughter. And uh, the disciples looked at him and said, no, what are you guys doing? Get back. You know, take care of your kids. You know, uh, uh, get away. This is Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You can't do this. And you, there's a lot of people, a lot of important people that need, that need a, a touch. And Jesus said, no, 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 no. You don't understand. This is what I came for. This is what I came for. What do you think that the blessing would be? What do you think that Jesus, I mean, you think of some of the things that Jesus would say to, uh, to a child. Maybe he'd be praying for a long life, laying hands on him, say, you know, long life, or, or for happiness, or, or for service for others, or maybe for good friends, uh, a good family, for wisdom, for self confidence, uh, maybe for a noble character, or for health, or for love, or, or for godly character, or, or for choosing a close relationship for good, with God at an early age so they don't have to go through all the junk in life. Um, moms, want their kids to be blessed by Jesus. Uh, what might he say? Jesus was known many times for quoting scripture in, in, in his everyday words. And I'm, I'm taking the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse number 21 to 26, and I'm going to read this um, as if Jesus was speaking right to uh, Adelaide. Adelaide. My child, Adelaide, hold on to wisdom and good sense. Don't let them out of your sight. They will give you life and beauty, like a necklace around your neck. Then you will go your way safely. And you will not get hurt. When you lie down, you won't be afraid. When you lie down, you will sleep in peace. You won't be afraid of sudden trouble. You won't fear the ruin that comes from to the wicked. Because the Lord will keep you safe and will keep you from being trapped. Father, we thank you. Jeremy, 
as the as the head of the household, I would like you to uh, pray a blessing. Proclamation over your family. Yes, no. God, I just pray right now over Adelaide. God, I pray that you would touch her. Lord, you would give her strength. Like her name means, Lord God, we would make her victorious. Like her name means, you would make her the likeness of God that you would create her to be. We pray, Lord God, we would raise her up. You would give her strength. <clears throat> you would give her strength, God. And you give her wisdom as she grows in you. God, I pray over Jen. God, I pray, give her peace. God, I pray she never doubt the woman and mother that you've created her to be. I thank you, God, for her. And I pray, Lord God, those times when things are hard, those times when things are difficult, those times when she's not sure, is doubting herself and her decisions of pray work God, and give her strength. You give her wisdom. You give her peace. God, we declare over Adelaide in this house, this family, or that other people are choosing to serve other gods, or following other patterns of this world, or other religions, or other things that this world has to offer. But we declare today that as for us in our household, we will serve the Lord. We pray, God, that you would give us the strength to teach Adam what it means to serve the Lord. And not just to serve the Lord, but to know Him. And to know Him fully. To have an intimate relationship with Him. I pray you strengthen us and make our relationship with you very strong. So we can the proper example. We thank you, God, for this time. I remember the first time I held Adelaide. She's like a little tiny doll. She's still like a little tiny doll. A charge to Jeremy and Jen as the mom and the dad of the house and the mom and dad of Adelaide. Ariel Edmonds. The primary responsibility for the care of Adelaide, of course, is, is on the two of you. It rests on, on new parents. And the scripture says, train up your child in the way he should go, the way she should go. And uh, when she's old, she will not depart from him. It also says, bring them up in the nurture and the, ad the admission of the Lord. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Wow. If that's not saying to be a Christian mom and dad in your home, not just coming to church and dropping the kid off the home, that if something happens in Sunday school. But I believe with all my heart that Christianity and God and loving God starts at the home. Your charge today, Jeremy and Jen, as you engage in this task with joy and peace, may you earnestly seek the Lord daily with Him for His wisdom, for all the events that will occur, all the decisions to be made, and all the needs to be met. Will you accept this charge for Adelaide?